Hi everybody, welcome to the video. Today we'll be looking at how we can construct all of our components to form the full assembly and how we can make sure that it's a, a moving mechanism and everything works as intended. Okay, so let's head on over and have a look. Okay guys, in this video we're going to be having a look at how we can bring all of our sub-assemblies and remaining components together to form the full landing gear assembly. Okay, so just bear in mind we're going to have some movement in here, it needs to be able to fold, so we'll use our some mechanisms and the mechanisms that are already activated in our sub-assemblies. Okay, so let's head on over to Creo and have a look. Load up Creo Parametric. Set the working directory. Okay, and then start a new assembly. Okay, so this one's just going to be called ASM underscore one. Untick default template, click OK, and then let's have a look at design abs. Okay. So we've set the units to millimeters. Okay, remember when we bring in an assembly components, we need to first select an anchor point. Okay, so first thing first, let's bring in the support. So we've got assemble. Let's have a look at the view from now. So make sure that you've downloaded the extra components that are given to you and put them in your folder. So the first part is our support. Let's change this to default. Actually, I don't like default. It's upside down, so we're going to do it differently. So we're just going to delete that. And let's have a look. So if we move this around, let's rotate it around a little bit and we'll manually place this. So I want this face to be in line with this face. I want this plane in line with this plane. And then I want this plane in line with this plane. Okay, so now it's nice and in the middle. Okay. Uh, so the next component that we're going to bring in actually is going to be our crank. Okay, so this is another component that's been supplied to you. I'm just going to change the view for a second. Uh, so we're going to go assemble, and then we're going to go crank, and then we're going to go open. So let's get it roughly in a position that we want it. Okay, so this part attaches to this top section here, so we can align the axis straight away. Just there, so that needs to be, um, what should that, oh, it's got distance. We want to go instant there. Uh, and then new constraint, we want to go there to there, go instant. And then I'm just going to put a temporary constraint and this part has to rotate. So I'm going to untick allow assumptions. Um, but for now, I'm just going to line this up. So I'm going to click here, click here and make it so that they're parallel. Okay. I will come in and disable that at some point, but for, for now, we're just going to leave it as it is. Okay. Click OK. So I've got that part in. Um, I think now we need to bring in our uh, linear actuator. So we're bringing that sub-assembly. So we're going to assemble, bring in the sub-assembly, click open. And we just need to start moving this around. Okay, so this bit, so this hole will align with this hole. So that needs to be coincident. And then we've got this hole here aligning with this hole, so that's coincident. Then a new constraint is going to be this face, this face here, and that again needs to be coincident. Okay. Click OK, and that's all set. So at the moment, if I try and drag this, it won't move, okay? So it, it won't let me move it. That's because I've got that parallel constraint applied on here at the moment. If I go in, I can go back to this component, go edit definition, I go on the parallel, 
and just disable it. What we'll find now is when I drag this, you can see that it all works as intended. I'm um, just keeping that parallel in place because it will help me when I come to, you know, assemble the lower strut section. Okay, so I'm just going to go in and reactivate that. Okay. Uh, so next section is our second subassembly. So I'm going to assemble, open. And then let's get this one lined up properly. Well, close to it anyway. So we've got this axis with this axis, new constraints. So then we're going to have a couple of ways we could align this. We could do the center planes. Yeah, let's do that with that. And then we'll add a new constraint in. So I'm going to do this with this make them parallel okay again that parallel constraints not required in the long run but we'll use it later we'll remove it later okay so before we add in the final piece actually what I'm going to do is remove the parallel constraints that we've put in so I'm going to go in here and just remove this so well disable it okay and then we can go into this one as well edit definition and disable the parallel constraint okay and now if I try and move this around so if I drag this you should see that it's it's all moving freely okay so we need to add our last component in so that we get that movement from the drag linkage okay so let's go assemble add this in so Okay, so okay, so that part goes to there. That should be coincidence. New constraint there to that coincidence, and then we go there to there coincidence. Okay. So that is partially constrained, click OK. And now if we drag this component, we should get the movement that we're after. Yeah, OK. So it goes up there, down, down, down. OK, and then the bottom piece still moves as well. That moves, yep. All good, close. So final pieces to add in, we just go to assemble, add in a wheel. So there, so there, so that needs to be coincidence. Let's go new constraint there to there, coincident. Okay, you can see that it's intersecting, so it's the wrong side, so we can just use the flip command to help us out. Okay, and then what we can do is just control C that, so control C, control V, and then we just say, okay, there, there and then we just need to flip that direction and we've got that assembled okay let's hide some of the planes and now we can have a look at dragging it around yeah okay so that moves how we're expecting it to uh, click on the wheel yeah so the wheel is moving and out as well whole assembly is working perfectly perfectly Okay, so that's how we assemble the final assembly. Good luck, guys.